North Korean and Chinese hackers have caused massive leaks of South Korean government documents. North Korea has resumed its nuclear disablement process. Nicotine has been found in the hair strands of fetuses exposed to secondhand smoking. Hello and welcome to KBS World News Today. It's Wednesday, the 15th of October. Internet hacking is posing a threat to the security of government information. North Korean and Chinese hackers have caused massive leaks of South Korean government documents. Some 130,000 government documents have been discovered to have been leaked by North Korean and Chinese hackers between 2004 and August this year. Public officials are known to have stored important documents in their personal files without permission and sent them on the Internet. The National Intelligence Service has reported such hacking damage to Prime Minister Han sung Su. He ordered ministries to come up with countermeasures in a cabinet meeting. The intelligence agency says the leaked documents were neither confidential nor directly related to national security. But Prime Minister Han calls the leaks a serious problem, blaming public officials for failing to protect the documents. He says national intelligence is mapping out measures to protect government information, including developing a secret protection system. But he's urging public officials to be on high alert over information leaks. The Prime Minister's office and the intelligence agency will jointly conduct on-site inspections of information protection by government offices. The inspection results will also serve as a standard to evaluate the agency's performances. North Korea has resumed its nuclear disablement process after the U.S. removed North Korea from its terrorism blacklist. Pyongyang has also okayed nuclear inspectors to enter nuclear facilities and is expected to start resealing its main reactor pretty soon. The International Atomic Energy Agency says North Korea has resumed dismantling its main nuclear reactor in Yongbyon. The agency's briefing material says North Korean authorities restarted the nuclear disablement process by discontinuing the operation of key reactor parts. Pyongyang has also re-allowed international inspectors to access nuclear facilities. They have been barred from inspecting the reactor and surrounding areas from October 9th. The Atomic Agency spokeswoman says the North will start resealing the reactor and allow the surveillance measures. The nuclear inspection team will soon resume its work as well. The resumption of Korea's nuclear disablement indicates that tension between the global nuclear watchdog and Pyongyang has eased for now. The two sides have been at odd over the North's unsealing of its nuclear reactor September 24th. The disablement of the Yongbin nuclear facility has resumed two months after the North suddenly halted the process in mid-August. But the Atomic Agency has still not been notified of the verification procedures agreed on between Washington and Pyongyang. A detailed plan is expected to be finalized at the six-party nuclear talks. The ruling and opposition parties are exchanging political bickering, with the parliamentary inspection of the government passing the midway point. The ruling party has criticized former President Noh Moo-hyun for using tax money to build a luxurious post-retirement home. The main opposition party has counterattacked President Lee myung bak over his radio address, demanding a chance to refute his claims and explain his positions. The ruling Grand National Party is going after former President Noh Moo-hyun again. The party says the previous administration spent more than 80 million U.S. dollars to build Noh's post-retirement house in his hometown of Pongha, South Gyeongsang Province. Another point of contention is the forest behind Noh's home. The ruling party calls the former president's home a palace and wants an inspection. The main opposition Democratic Party has hit back by saying the ruling party is again blaming the former president for everything. 
경제 실정에 대한 한나라당의 책임이 없어진단 말입니까? Noh's aide says Bongha residents have no interest in what's happening in Seoul. He says they're busy harvesting barley. The main opposition party has also denounced the presidential office for misunderstanding the economic situation. The party is criticizing the presidential office for saying financial markets stabilized after President Lee gave an address on KBS radio. Party members plan to visit KBS and demand a chance to explain their views. The ruling party is digging up all the dirt it can find on the previous government. The main opposition party is busy finding fault with the incumbent administration. The confrontation between the two camps is escalating with the parliamentary inspection of the government passing the midway point. Korean scientists have conducted the world's first hair tests on newborns to prove the harmful effects of secondhand smoking on fetuses. Nicotine has been found in the hair strands of newborns exposed to secondhand smoking. Cigarette smoke contains 4,000 chemical substances and 70 carcinogens. Secondhand smoke is more hazardous because the smoke is inhaled unfiltered. People around smokers end up inhaling smoke with a higher concentration of toxic and chemical substances. A Korean medical team has found that even fetus suffers in the womb when pregnant women are exposed to secondhand smoke. The National Cancer Center has analyzed the nicotine content in the hair strands of newborns. The study has found that newborns with at least one smoking parent had six times the nicotine concentration in their system than those with non-smoking parents. Doctors say a father who smokes a pack a day is equivalent to the pregnant woman smoking five cigarettes and a fetus one cigarette. When a fetus is exposed to secondhand smoke, it suffers an increased risk of premature birth, underdevelopment, and lower birth weight by about 300 grams. The fetus is also 40 percent more likely to be stillborn and faces a higher risk of deformity. 와 결합을 잘 합니다. 그래서 태아로 가는 그 산소의 양을 떨어뜨릴 수 있고요. 따라서 태아가 필요한 산소의 양이 적어지기 때문에. Cigarette smoke can be much more dangerous to fetuses and infants with underdevelopment pulmonary and other organs. The National Cancer Center has conducted the study on 63 domestic households since 2005. The world's first nicotine test on fetus hair has been published in the American Journal of Epidemiology. A ceremony declaring Visit Korea Year was held in Seoul. The First Lady Kim yoon Nook attended the ceremony. Korean actor Bae yong joon was designated as the publicity ambassador for the event. First Lady Kim said the government will actively support globalization of Korean culture and development of the tourism industry. The organization committee is planning to draw 10 million tourists to Korea by 2012 and promote various overseas marketing projects. The Gwangju Kimchi Festival has opened in the southwestern city. A various selection of Korea's key food is being offered in the event's 15th year. The festival theme this time is Kimchi is Culture. This festival showcases a wide range of kimchi from all over Korea, including 22 regional types to non-spicy versions and those mixed with fermented skate fish. Visitors can even make their own kimchi with rarely used ingredients such as Japanese cornelian cherries, mulberries, and sea herbs. Visitors at this museum can enjoy kimchi with their eyes and ears by listening to musical instruments made with radish, carrots, and green onions. The festival is holding its first kimchi academy where kimchi masters reveal their secrets to making perfect kimchi. Outdoor venues include Kimchi Art Garden, where kimchi-themed artworks are on display. Chefs can also compete in a kimchi cooking contest. The Gwangju Kimchi Festival runs through Sunday. Globalization has allowed foreign-made food to be more easily consumed in Korea. But the tainted Chinese food panic has shown the potential danger of imported food. Now a public campaign is urging people to buy agricultural products produced domestically. This organic food store in a rural area is run by a farmer's cooperative. 
The store sells cucumbers, beef, mushrooms, soy sauce, and tofu produced by domestic farmers. 멜라닌 파동으로 인해서 멀리서 오는 건 믿을 수가 없어서 가장 안전하게 우리 지역에서 나는 농산물을 이용하기 위해서. Many people in large cities use recipes using domestic agricultural ingredients. Tunan in South Chungcheong Province is staging a campaign to promote the consumption of domestic farm products. Farmers make direct deals with buyers like schools, corporations, and housewives. The deals are worth 24 million U.S. dollars a year. Wonju County in North Cheolla Province manufactures and sells food made from domestic agricultural products. 저 소득 계층이 어, 직접 어, 가공 사업에 참을 참여함으로써 사회적 일자리를 창출하는 두 마리 토끼를 잡을 예정입니다. The campaign has been inspired by the similar movement 10 years ago in Japan, which is at no melamine scare. Farmers can choose what to grow once the distribution system of domestic food products takes root. Therefore, consumers can enjoy a wide variety of agricultural products made in Korea. The central government has started supporting this campaign. 국물의 먹거리와 관계되는 건강, 영양, 식물에 대해서 법정부적으로 정확한 대책을 마련해서 시행해 나갈 계획입니다. The campaign is expected to help invigorate the Korean agricultural industry. The traditional gate of Sungnaemun will be restored from 2010 after basic excavation. Korea's top landmark was severely damaged in February from an arsonist. A Korean-American architect who took part in repair of the gate 40 years ago is helping with the restoration. An excavation study began in June for the restoration of Sungnaemun. Korean-American architect Che Yong-wan says he regrets the damage to the national treasure. Back in 1961, a massive repair was conducted on Sungnaemun for two years. Che, at the time, had just graduated university with a bachelor's in architecture. He took part in the repair work. Che scribbled the measurements of each part in his personal notebook. His records show the entire disintegration and restoration process of Sungnaemun conducted 45 years ago. His sketches of joints and hinges are considered crucial for the gate's restoration. Che has given his notes to the Cultural Heritage Administration. The government culture watchdog has started analyzing them in depth. The world's biggest circus has arrived in Korea. Cirque du Soleil has its own school, restaurant and electric power system. Huge white tents are put up in the heart of Seoul. The world's biggest circus, Cirque du Soleil from Canada, has come to Korea. The performance hall, with a capacity of 2,500, sees circus crews practicing for the show. The spectacular show is called Alegria, or Spanish for Joy. The circus has a traveling school. The two teachers accompany the circus to teach nine younger performers and the children of the adult members. Teacher and everything, they follow the program from the Ministère of Quebec of Education. So whenever the children graduate, they, are, they have a diploma from a Quebec high school. The circus restaurant prepares 300 meals every day for the multinational staff. The circus grounds are like one big village, having everything except water and communication facilities. It takes eight days just to set up all the tents and three days to disassemble. Working crews travel to perform all around the world. And it creates the same environment for our performers, whichever city we go to. So um, instantly they feel comfortable, whether they're in London, in Paris, or in Seoul. Circus du Soleil is praised for having raised a circus to the level of art and is on the world tour for the 14 years. Yam has been disregarded because of its stickiness. 
However, the vegetable is gaining popularity with its health benefit rediscovered. Let's have a look at Yang Farm in Andong, North Gyeongsang Province. This is a yam farm in Andong, North Gyeongsang Province. The weather and soil are perfect for growing yam. The farm produces 80% of yam consumed in Korea. It's the harvest season and the work is in full swing. There are two kinds of yam, long yam and short yam. Long yam is watery, tender and tasty. It is rich in fiber and used as a food ingredient. Short yam has been mainly used for making medicine. But it is also used for food these days. 오래된 마는 한방에서 산약이라 해서 산산과 비견될 정도로 기운을 북돋아주는 역할을 하게 되는데요. 산 속의 장어라고도 얘기합니다. 특히 소화기와 폐 기운을 북돋아주기 때문에 천식이나 소화 불량, 설사에 큰 도움이 되겠습니다. Many people eat raw yam, but adding ground yam makes food gummy. One of famous food stuff producer is pork from pigs feeding on yam. The stomach of yam fed pigs is strong and clean. Therefore, the animals easily absorb nutrients, making their meat nutritious and tasty. Yam also can be used for fries and stew. Here are suggestions to easily enjoy yam at home. These are yam spring rolls which are appealing to children. Dehydrate tofu and grind yam first. And mix the two ingredients together and add salt and pepper. Put a small piece of labor and the mixture on a spring roll sheet. Then roll it and glue the two sides with egg. Fry them in oil and you have crispy yam spring rolls. Use yam when making tteokbokki or rice bars boiled with soy sauce. First, parboil these snowman shaped duck and mix them with sesame oil. Slice yam into cubes. Stir them with sesame oil and garlic before mixing them together. Put ginkgo nuts and soy sauce finally. Yam is good for health when it is taken in the raw. For children, make yam juice with milk, yogurt, honey, and ice. Preserve the yam juice for two hours in the freezer and spread chocolate syrup on it. Now you have sweet yam ice cream. 가게에서 사 먹는 것보다는 많이 달콤하고 부드러워서 엄마가 만들어 주신 게 제일 맛있는 것 같아요. Fears are rising about the safety of food after some food products imported from China were found to be tainted with melamine. How about using yam to make tasty and healthy food for your family? Here are today's economic indicators and the weather. That's it for this edition of KBS World News Today. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.